Koala Creek, there's bad news. Just weeks after the arrival of the five southern koalas from Australia, kidney disease claimed the life of Will Keenan. It's really apparent that her kidneys were not functioning at all. Unfortunately, we, we did make the decision that the kindest thing for her would be to put her to sleep. And now there are fears that Violet, one of the three surviving females, could have the same potentially fatal problem. Every day, vigilant keepers take urine samples to safeguard these precious and vulnerable newcomers. But Violet's tests are worrying. And the tragedy of Wilpina haunts head of animal adventure, Graham. That was really hard. That was the first time we'd had a koala pass away on us. So to have another one showing the exact same symptoms and the same problems as Wilpina, you've always got that gut-wrenching feeling that, God, if she doesn't make it, then what? Violet's also got breathing problems. She's losing weight. Everyone in Koala Creek is anxious, including team manager, Kat. You get that knot in your tummy where you just think, oh, oh my goodness, there's something, there's something not right here, and we need to figure out why. So even though the keepers get on a really, really brave face, they're probably very nervous inside. They want to get it sorted. And now, to make matters worse for keeper James, who spent three months learning how to care for Violet in Australia, she's sneezing. Fleshy. Fleshy. You all right? You all right, Hey. I'm very much aware of what could happen, and um, I'd be lying if it didn't hit a nerve. You have to try your best when an animal becomes a little ill to take a step away and to try and analyse the animal as you see it on that day. Her symptoms are so serious She's in isolation in the koala hospital. The vet's been called and Kate is on her way to meet him. So the issue here is, or the worry I suppose here, is that Violet has got the same condition that Will Pina had and it's going to progress in the same way with the same outcome. What, what's your feeling seeing her compared to Will Pina? Um, I think quite rightly the guys have jumped on the fact that they've seen some sediment in the urine. Right. So it looks a little bit like um, sugar. Okay. Um, and we know that oxalate nephrosis, which basically uh, causes renal failure, is a big issue, likely to have a genetic link, and we've obviously been on the rough end of that with, with Will Pina. Yeah. So we start a course of treatment, um, the mainstay of which is is fluid. We have looked at urine samples daily um, and she's concentrating her urine, right. which means her kidney function actually is pretty good. Okay. And we've used some dipsticks to look for blood and various other bits and pieces, which has all come back negative. And what I've done is been looking at the urine and looking at the crystals to try and decide what sort of crystals they are. Yeah. Can you just see as I rotate it? Oh yeah, you can. It does exactly look like sugar that hasn't dissolved properly. They don't look like the dangerous oxalate nephrosis crystals. <gasps> That's so fantastic it, news. It is, it's a fingers crossed moment. So I'm going to give some more fluids today. This is the third day we've done it. Right. Not overly happy about it. Okay. Understandably. But to make this less of an ordeal, Violet will be in the familiar and reassuring arms of James. Right, is there anything I can do usefully? Yeah, just um, ever so slightly restrain her back legs if possible. Okay. These life-saving fluids should flush out Violet's system and hopefully put her on the path to recovery. It's a nice quick way of getting a lot of fluid in. So yeah. we're going to give hopefully 150 mils. That's what she's had the last two days. Gosh, that's a lot. It's, it's a good volume, yeah. yeah. And, it, and it's obviously making a difference. Um, she doesn't like it at all, okay. but hopefully this is your last day. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. There we go. I know. I know. I've got you. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, oh grumpy noise. I know. Right. Koalas girl. carry very little fat, which means this procedure will be far from comfortable.
Happy? Yeah, happy. Pop her back there, keep eating. Okay. Okay. Ready? There you go. Elmis, let's pick you back with some fish. Okay. Oh, Violet, you don't look too worse for wear. Well, hopefully, as Chris said, maybe in the next sort of two or three days you'll see a real improvement. Fingers crossed. You'll Fingers keep crossed. us posted, won't you? We will of indeed. course, because the sure. whole nation is rooting for you, Violet. We certainly are. And we'll be keeping a close eye on Violet throughout the series.